Empirical Alignment, Part 11 of 11. Have you decided how you want to make your entrance, Wang Yi Ying asked Fifi. Remote drop off or a dramatic return where our bird lands and you appear from deep within her belly, she added with a wry smile. Based upon everything I have learned, I think a dramatic return would be best. We should land as centrally as is safe and allow the maximum number of my people to see you accompany me back home. This will make any covert sabotage by Greybeard or Inanna's attendants more difficult. And who is this you of which you speak? Yang Wei asked. We three are with the extra guards in the passenger compartment. I am inclined to have just the four of us appear, Fifi replied. If we land in the center of where my tribe is camped, we can always call the guards if they are needed. That is prudent. Two strange silver-clad women and one man will be less frightening for your people than us plus a squad of sentries, Zhang Min observed, nodding her head. And speaking of silver-clad, how shall you be arraigned? In a silver and viro suit? A simple gown? Or shall you return as you came, naked and unashamed? Naked and unashamed, but surely not as I came. <laughs> Indeed, Zhang Min conceded. Well, we have a plan, and with Fifi as our linchpin, I am confident that we have a very high chance of success. Hear, hear, Wang Yi Ying declared. Saying we, take the calm. I need to stretch my legs and report to Captain Yan that his forces will be on standby. Roger that, Zan Yishan. I have the helm. Wang Yi Ying stood, exited the cockpit, and found Captain Yan sleeping in the back. Captain, he said softly. Captain Yan Zishan opened one eye. Captain, we will land in the center of their encampment, and Fifi will go in with just we three. Your squad will be on standby alert. Very good, Wang Yi Yang, Captain Yan said. How likely do you suppose are her success? Very, Captain. I believe we will be able to harvest workers from this locale within two years. Two years? Yan Yishan declared. This seems optimistic. Fifi is a most resourceful and intelligent woman. I wish we could rescue her and her kind and leave behind the rest. Yes, Wang Yi Yang, me as well. But there is no doubt that the life these barbarians will lead under our care will be far superior to the scratching for survival they have now. Who knows? Within a generation or two, perhaps they can learn enough to be worthy of freedom. That is the goal, Captain. We should land in 45 minutes. I will alert you when we are 15 minutes out. Excellent. Long live the People's Republic, Captain Yan said from his chair. Long live the People's Republic, Wang Yi Ying repeated before returning to the cockpit.